We humans have such mixed feelings about bears. On the one hand, we fear them. Think about all the stories we do about bear maulings. On the other hand, we adore them. Nobody grows up without teddy bears. Tonight, you're going to get up close with these animals as never before, courtesy of a fascinating new documentary. You're looking at extraordinary footage of newborn bears inside the den with their mom during their long winter's hibernation. Hold on to me as we go. And this, this is those same bears emerging for the first time into the world. What an amazing place to take your first steps. This new documentary called Bears follows a female brown bear and her two cubs through the first year of their life in the Alaskan wilderness. And it is a treacherous year. Only Sky can chase Takani off. This mama bear is keeping a good eye on her cubs. Not only does the mama bear, who the filmmakers named Sky, have to defend her cubs, named Scout and Amber, from predators, but she also needs to find enough food to sustain the family through next year's hibernation. Sometimes this search can be comical. Mom! Never mind, I got it. I'm fine. My claw. Mom, the. But what, what do you do if your claw gets stuck in the clam? Let go. Mom, it's stuck in my claw. You might recognize the guy who does the voiceover for this Disney nature documentary. It's John C. Riley, who you may remember as porn star Reed Rothschild in Boogie Nights. Full flip. Or race car driver Cal Naughton Jr. in Talladega Nights. Shake and bake. I mean, no offense by this, but why you for this movie? I'm trying to figure, like, envision the casting session. They're like, let's get the dude from Talladega Nights. How did this come about? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm scratching my head as much as you are about how I got this job. But I think I did all right. And, yeah, it's certainly esteemed company. You know, the people that have done this before, James Earl Jones and Morgan Freeman and Meryl Streep, it's pretty, pretty impressive company. Riley brings the feisty male cub, Scout, to life. Scout is looking for a role model. Which bear will he grow up to be? He could be an angry bear. The little male cub I really related to because he was super mischievous and always kind of thinking he could do more than he was actually capable of. Reminded me of myself when I was a kid. Go around, go around. To get all of this amazing footage, the filmmakers from Disney Nature spent an entire year in Alaska's Katmai National Park and Preserve. At one point, the filmmakers got a visit from Dr. Jane Goodall, famous for her work with chimpanzees. She's Disney Nature's ambassador. Were you able to get pretty close to the bears in your time there? Oh, it was magic. I met the star of, of this movie, um, Sky. <laughs> That's and a funny way to put cubs. it, I met the star. Well, she is the star. Uh, the threats facing bears these days go way beyond predators and lack of food. Humans are destroying their habitat, which is what can drive bears into your backyard, which we've seen on countless YouTube clips of late. These encounters can also turn dangerous. Just days ago, this woman in Florida was mauled when she stumbled upon at least five bears on her property. I started to run, and he stood up and just pushed me down. This is bear habitat. So this is. I did a story not long ago in suburban Seattle with wildlife officials who have found a surprising tool to discourage bears from coming into populated areas. These adorable and fearless dogs. There's that bear. There it is. Yeah. Wow. Look at it. There's that bear. You could see the dogs were right on the bear. I mean, there was a huge outline of a bear, and then just three shadows of dogs right on his tail. It's incredible. Hey. They also somehow convinced me to dress up as a bear to help teach local kids about bear safety. As fun as it is to play bear. That was awesome. Oh, this is the best assignment I've had in a long time. Or to watch this new movie about bears, the dangers facing this majestic species are real. And the people behind this new documentary. This guy looks like my dad when he's watching TV. Hope they can make a whole generation of kids and their parents care about this. I've been to national parks and I've seen bears in national parks. 
And usually, you're from a distance, you might have some binoculars, and it's an amazing thing to suddenly witness them. But to get this close to them, in the, like you do in this film, is a really special thing. And I think that's, that's only good for the world, to be able to feel more sympathy for animals. Very cool to meet John C. Riley, and it's a great movie. By the way, it's called Bears, and it comes from our parent company, Disney, and it's in movie theaters starting tomorrow.